Welcome everybody, it's Hobbs Horror back with you. And we got a package here from Wild Eye Releasing. Uh, they told me they wanted to send me some more titles to review. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to review some uh, titles for Wild Eye here again. And let's get into real quickly what they sent me. Um, I want to thank Wild Eye Releasing for sending these to review. We have a Ouija Shark 2. <laughs> I've heard this is actually really entertaining, so looking forward to reviewing Ouija Shark 2. Oh my lord. <laughs> Caddy Hack. Oh my gosh. Caddy Hack. Wow. Welcome to a whole new world of horror, Caddy Hack. I cannot wait to dive into Caddy Hack. Should I sing the song? I'm alright. Ain't nobody gotta worry about me. Alright, and we have three more here. From Wild Eye, we have High Fear. That looks dope. What are you afraid of? High fear. Again, I want to thank Wild Eye Releasing for sending me these. Flesh City. Oh my gosh, look at that cover art. No one leaves in one piece. Flesh City. Tomcat Films. Distributed by Wild Eye Releasing. Finally. <laughs> wow. Just wow. This is why I like to watch these films. Summer House Slaughter. Does it get any crazier than that? You got a killer panda maybe? Let's take a look. Give me death. Give me a death. What? Who directed this? This just looks like a bundle of fun. Just to recap, we have Summer House Slaughter. We have High Fear. We have Flesh City. Cannot wait to dive into some of this obscure horror. We have Ouija Shark 2. And then last but absolutely certainly not least, Caddy Hack. Oh my gosh. Obscure horror to the umpt degree. Who is the director of Caddy Hack? Let's see. Let's see what you Doesn't really say here. Sarah Casey's in it. I believe she was on a questions, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see, a struggling golf course suffers a strong string of caddy murders. So it must be like a killer caddy. All right, y'all. Let me know what you think about some of these titles. What do you want me to review first? Catch up with you later. Peace. As always, you've got the right guy with that wild eye.